I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on complex numbers. Question is, explain which of the following statement is true. So the first one here is square root of minus 9 times square root of minus 1 equals to square root of minus 9 times minus 1 that gives you square root of 9 and that is equal to 3. The other one here is Square root of minus 9 times square root of minus 1 is equals to 3i. Uh, I hope you remember what i is. i is equal to square root of minus 1, right? And i square is equals to minus 1. So that is when we enter the domain of complex numbers, right? So we could write square root of minus 9 as 3i, square root of minus 1 as i, so when you multiply, you get 3i squared, and you know i squared is minus 1. So 3 times minus 1 gives you minus 1. Now the question is, which one of these statements is true? So we started with the same thing, right? And we got two different answers. One is 3, one is minus 3. So both cannot be right. Now the question is, which one is right and why? You can pause the video, think about it and then look into my suggestion. It is important to note that whenever we have square root of a times square root of b, we can write this as square root of a times b. There is no harm. You could do this as we did here, but there is one restriction and that is that both a and b are non-negative, non-negative real numbers. Only then this statement is true. Otherwise this statement is not true. Correct? So, so we say that this statement is false since this property cannot be applied here. Right? These are negative numbers. Right? Minus 9 and minus 1. So we cannot apply this property here. So square root of a times square root of b is equal to square root of a times b only if these two numbers are non-negative, right? So they could be 0 or positive. But if they are negative, then we cannot apply this property, right? So the first statement is false and the second one is true, right? So that is how we can reason out which statement is true. I hope that gives you a lot of insight to our calculations. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.